fellow movie fans, guys, and it's just, it's, we've got a lot to talk about. I think we've got a lot to talk about and dissect and divulge. Um, but obviously, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to Red Marvel. Obviously, check out Have Hope Hot as well and check out Patrick's channel as well. Um, supporting the peeps, supporting the Black Brethren. But we're now talking about Batman, man. And um, let's just get straight into it because I watched it yesterday. Um, obviously, you guys have all watched it. Um, just general general thoughts on what was, I think, one of the best interpretations of Batman on on cinema so far. But like, over, Patrick, over to you. Go for it, Patrick. Go for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll start off. Look, uh, first of all, I think we're gonna have to learn as fans, uh, starting from the first Batman, Michael Keaton. Uh, I I don't. I'm sorry to. I don't want to offend any people. I don't take into account Adam West, rest in peace, respect, but I don't take into account that. I don't know what that was. Maybe it worked for the 60s. Let's keep it there. For me, I start off with uh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was, uh, when he was picked, a lot of people didn't like him because he was looking a lot, he was doing a lot of uh, comedies, romantic comedies. Same thing as uh, Ben Affleck. Nobody wanted him. No, why are you picking him? Uh, he, he's ruined uh, uh, Daredevil. He's not a good actor. Kicked it out of the park, even though he was in bad script. Good Batman. Again, we went to Robert Pattinson, nobody learned the lesson again. Uh, after he did Good Times, he did uh, Tenant. He was the best actor in Tenant. Yeah, that's just my opinion. I don't know about other people. But people still didn't get it. My, Mark Lee said he wanted Robert Pattinson only. He said nobody else. He said, one. So he knew exactly what he was going for. Watching this, watching this film, Robert Pattinson didn't even have to talk that much. Uh, let's talk about, uh, is it a spoiler free or spoiler? Oh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Okay, spoiler, cool. spoiler, like, spoiler. Like, like, like if, you, if, you look, if you look at the scene when he's at the funeral and they, he looks at the kid, he didn't say anything from the woman talking to him. He didn't say anything. All he did was look at the kid, but the way he was acting, you could tell by him looking at the kid that I have been through this too. My parents mm -hmm. also died. I know how you feel. Mm -hmm. If you look at all his reactions as Batman, Batman is not supposed to talk much. That's why we love Batman. It's just that some Batman... <laughs> No offense again, talking to Bell, that accent, <laughs> that Batman voice, I'll never forget. No, no. So, you see what I'm trying to say? This was mm. the Batman who was just using his face, his eyes. By the way, Robert Pattinson, you are a damn good actor. Using your eyes in scenes on the way to behave a certain way, the way you can see where, like there's a scene where uh, he enters the room and then the police guy was, was, was looking at him, what are you doing here? He just mm. looks at him. But the way it looks like him, we can also tell that he's like, do you want to go there, dude? Then yeah, he leaves yeah. him. He, he, he holds some evidence. He's like, you don't have to touch that. And he leaves him again. Like, go ahead. Like, not acting by Robert Pattinson. This is the Batman we've been looking for. Somebody who's there to investigate. Somebody who's there to be a detective. All the mm -hmm. time, it was always about fighting. Always about gadgets. This guy is simple. What the suit he had, you can actually make it uh, in mm -hmm. your own house. And actually go out and be Batman. That's why I like those grounded. It was amazing, and that guy who played the Riddler is amazing. Yes, he went, yes, he went a bit off balance, end, uh, yeah. but everything was fine. So for me, look, as a movie, as a Batman movie, I think this might be the best Batman movie, according to Batman comics. I know people will be like, oh, Dark Knight Rises, this is no, no. there's a difference. Listen to me. Dark, Dark Knight, yes, it might be an uh, iconic movie, but we're talking about as a Batman movie. This is the Batman movie all Batman fans were looking for. Grounded detective work, a Batman who was there to investigate, uh, a Batman who was there to find out what's happening. They tried the investigation stuff with Bell, but he only did a mobile phone scene, remember? In Dark Knight Rise, and that was it was done. So look, amazing, Matt Reeves, amazing, good, good director. I knew this guy was going to take it out of the park. He did a Planet of the Apps, which yeah. was a laughable film back in the 90s. In the sixties, and now he made it serious. So, he did great play, man. As well. Cloverfield. He yeah, yeah. Work. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Look, this guy is this guy is a genius. They should just give him the same way as they did with the Joker. They should leave these guys to just do what they have to do. Don't mm. touch anything. Don't try to connect things. If you try to connect things with Robert Pattinson, I think do a bad family. You know, just the family, the Robins and them. But don't go and start saying let him meet Superman. I don't know how they're gonna do that. Oh, so anyway, that's what I wanted to say. I'm not going to say much. Most of the things, let's see or just say change yourself. <laughs> um, this is the film that I thought I was going to get from Nolan, Christian Bill, and Gary Oldman. And for me, let's keep it real. Nolan lied. Matt Reeves told the truth. 
Mm. Before Dark Knight, Nolan said he's finally going to be a detective. And I really remember when he announced it, people were like, yes, we're finally going to be a detective. We watched the Dark Knight. Joker is the main star of that film. He yeah. was a detective for one scene. You know, mm. when he fires the bullets and mm. he looks at this, and I'm like, okay, how did you detect it by firing a bullet? And that was it. So he mm. lied. Matt Reeves, from the start of this film to the mm. very end, this was a detective film. Mm. And that's why I say for me, try and okay, try and work with me here. There are, there are two kinds of films when you're dealing in the comic book movie genre. There's a comic book movie and then there's a film. Yeah, true. The best comic book movie in the Batman thing for me is the first Batman film, Batman 89. Is the first comic book movie. The best film is this. Mm -hmm. Because a comic book movie is the one-liners, the set pieces, larger mm -hmm. than, than life. It has its own aesthetic. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah a film is where we're not dealing with heat, seven, yeah. manhunter, eight millimeter, mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. break, where this is different because comic book movies have their own sort of rules that they live by. So I say Batman 89 is the best comic book movie, but we're just dealing as a film. The, the issue with the Nolan films is it does not know what it wants to be because Begins is a film up until they introduce the emitter. Then it's a comic book movie now. Yeah, yeah, Dark Knight yeah. is a film up until Batman now has this like weird blue goggle things and it turns into Call of Duty when he takes out those guys in the building. <laughs> and also yeah. like, if you give me two ships where one yeah. in one ship there are a group of, group of criminals and regular people, and the criminals don't rush to blow up the other ship, it's a comic book movie. The mm -hmm. thing about this film is you believe this film. Do you know one of the, the best things about this film? Mm -hmm. Now, we can talk about it, but it was you felt that Batman was genuinely in danger. Yeah. Yes. Because it's yes. when he yes. fought. It was mm -hmm. like, oh, this guy, he's getting shot at. Mm -hmm. He's getting hit. He's yeah. falling over. He's yeah. making... It's because what? Because again, now the fight could have been it could have been lighter because it was a bit too dark. But the idea of the fighting of like a fight is confusing. It's mm. frantic. It's fre it's frenetic. Mm. And I love mm. how he captured the ball for me. Again, we can talk about short comments or so forth. But in terms of from beginning to end, this was a detective film. Mm. It was yeah. because again, if you've seen Seven, um, Mills and Unfor 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 unfortunately, I haven't to be honest with you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch it again. I don't want to oh, yeah. you. you need to watch yeah. it. But yeah. if you see seven, the, the best part, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna give it to you. Last last thing I said before I give it to Red Devil. The yeah. best thing about this film, Gordon and Batman. Yeah, they felt like two detectives. This was like yeah, a working these together. Are two partners, mm. the, the detectives mm. working mm. a case throughout the film. And for me, that was the best thing about the film. So for me, I just say, like, look, man, mm. we'll talk about the criticisms, but overall, I just say like, bro. This was this is the this is the first true actual real film mm. we've gotten of Batman. Mm. Yeah, true. I mean, I, I I obviously agree. I mean, uh, HH knows that um, one of the things I've been hankering for, you know, as a Batman fan, is a proper detective Batman movie. You know, so when I reflect on um, the you know the uh, the Nolan movies, they were good in their own right. But we never got that representation of Batman as it like it's almost it's a similar reason as to why I don't particularly like Daniel Craig or the recent James Bond movies because I for me James Bond is a you know posh British spy type of thing he's a, he's a spy he's covert so this James Bond which is like more action hero blowing up things all the rest of it's like okay it's cool I get that that's entertaining for some people but. He's not really a spy, really, because spies don't draw attention to themselves, blow up, and the old school James Bond's a bit more, um, in quote, sophisticated, if that makes any sense. Or, but we still have, but we still have to give respect to Casino Royale. Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah, no, no, I, I, I think that's that's good. I'm not, I'm not hating that. Definitely not at all. So it's just like, it's just more like a, the idea, like that. I think that certain characters, there's been such a push to almost make, because, maybe because, as I think I'm um, passing before, that. The superhero genre is clearly a genre that's making a lot of money, and it seems yeah. to be a push to make superhero like any character, even if they're non not um not um comic book characters, superheroes mm -hmm. in a sense, you know, action, drama, yeah, etc. And I don't know if you could say this, but like you could make it this this Batman wasn't a superhero movie. 
and that's the, and that's the key thing that's again. I think the reason why there's certain people don't aren't gonna like it is because they're like, this isn't a superhero movie. It, it, it's not. It's it's not. It's a you could easily, um, it's it's a crime thriller. It's something that could easily be put in the de- sort of like detective noir kind of crime thriller. So as you said, seven like people comparing as you said to seven, not to um, you know Superman Returns or something like that. Like it's in almost in its own genre and. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I just think that, um, I mean, first and foremost, you know, Matt Reza said knocked out of the park. I do think that um, you can, you can tell. And I guess we'll talk about it later, but the fact that, like, I think had they left him alone to make it a completely R-rated Batman, I think the movie would have even been even better. But you can kind of see how it's almost at times where it's like it, it's it's trying to not deep into that, but it does. Um, you know. Points to get you guys you already sort of, sort of said, you know, I, the fact that um, that this this Batman is is more grounded, the relationships that he has with sort of Tim Gordon and other characters. There's one particular character I want to talk about later who I think we've got on a character so I actually think did an amazing job. Um, yeah. Even just like, I, I wouldn't necessarily say he overused his gadgets per se, but when he did, when, he, when the Batman moments did come, because there's certain Batman scenes in here where you're like, okay, Batman has shown up. It's still Batman. You know, so yeah, it is. especially the when they look in the dark or like waiting for him. You know how every time the criminals were looking in the dark, yes, <laughs> we're waiting that they is coming. You can hear yeah. that they that man will come in that. So you know exactly. what that is. Exactly. So it's like it's so it's it's not it's not it's not like it's 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 forgets it's a bat it's it's a Batman move if that makes any sense. You know. So but I I don't know, guys. Like I just think that overall, you know, and I'm oh, sorry. I should I should add it's it. Okay, here's the thing. What I also liked about Sussy was that like it was able to world build without compromising the main character. Because you know how some, exactly. some movies where, like, especially in Marvel, Marvel's notorious for this, where they're wanting to build for future sequels and they and they've thrown a lot of stuff, and you're like, okay, but the main character, the main lead, often tends to be compromised as a result of the story since the fault yeah. spending so much time world building for future stuff. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. You clearly this movie is world building to a certain extent, and there are things mm-hmm. that we'll talk about later. But it doesn't do it to the detriment of the own movie. It's still a good standalone movie, if that makes any sense, you know. So that's yeah. that's not about it, you know. Um, but yeah, for me, it's got to be at least top three, if not if not one of the best. Um, I, I'm, I'm so, 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 so what 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 would your top three be then? This has got to be because I can't. Are we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we talking about best on Batman or, or what are we basing this on? You see, that's movie? Thing, I think those are two. So you can say the best Batman film in terms of essence of Batman and just the best film overall. I'd say because I guess for me, for me, I there there's certain movies where like so for example, one of the movies that is my top three. You're going to probably go what, but I like it for what it does. If that makes sense, you know. Okay. Um, so, not in any particular order. This movie is definitely in the top three. Like, a- absolutely, no, no shadow of a doubt behind that. I will put put um, um, the Dark Knight into it just for what it tried to establish. Yeah, and I know people are gonna, <laughs> I know people are gonna troll me for this. Come on, Maybe Robin. Might no, 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 not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> just because I had fun with it. The Lego Batman movie. The, the Lego Batman oh, movie. No, no, that's not crazy. Uh... It was, that's really good, bro. That's a, like that's a really good that's a yeah. really good Batman film. I lo- exactly, you know. So it didn't take it. So for what it was trying to do, what it was trying to be, I love the Lego Batman. And, and also, it's covered a lot of of the Batman law and mm. everything, man. So yeah, man. No, no, exactly. exactly. But, but, exactly. but see now, see, for me, in see, now in terms, also, in terms of just a film, mm. it's like this might be the best. In terms of just okay, mm. we're now looking at. So, we're not comparing the whole Batman tropes, so okay, Batman comes over. Just, you're here to watch a film. You're here now to look at a narrative, a natural narrative now. I'm like, oh, because see, for me, which is why when people talked about the Dark Knight, or like the Dark Knight is like Heat, I'm like, bro, I've seen Heat. Heat is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite films of all time. No, it's not. Because, you see, and this thing about the Batman, see, when you look at Dark Knight, Batman seems out of place in that film. Yeah, you know, it just seems out of place. In this film, every Batman feels very much at home. It feels like if the the world, the cast, and everything 
all gel well with it because you see, I didn't like the suit before seeing this film. But I'm seeing this yeah, film. I, I, I saw your tweet. I saw your tweet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I still have issues with the suits, but mm. I now sort of get it because it's like, oh no, this is this as Patrick just said, it feels as if someone just puts stuff together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So rather than oh, this is my I am is like my superhero yeah. outfit now with the yeah. cool guys. No, I'm just I yeah. got like a cow I like to say, we, of metal. We, and like I said, we've got to remember this is this is essentially Batman year one. I like, well, this, mean, is yeah, like this, yeah, this is like his second year. Mm. This is year two. This is his second year. Two, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's he's like, just starting out, you know. And, and for me, you know, and because you know, whenever you do these Batman films, because so many have been done, you need to come at it with a certain angle. Yeah. And I loved the angle that he came with it because his angle was, um, which is why I don't want to see a prequel. So I don't want to know how he got friends with Gordon. I don't want to know about his parents being. No, 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 that's, no, 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 no. So that's just all. People just mention it within the film, but we don't need to need to see that. So we're already straight in of like stuff has happened before, and mm. we've just been thrust into mm. the second day of him doing this stuff. Where okay, so guys know who he is. Guys mm. know what what he's been operating, and we're already in the midst of some that this world has already already has a history to it. So that there's already weights there, and. For me, it feels as if, like, hence why, like, he's doing, um, like, two series. So, Gotham PD, and I think there's going to be an Arkham series on, on HBO Max. And the, so penguin, it, the Penguin one. The Penguin one. Been, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah there's the Penguin one. Pick up the villains. Which oh, actually, no, let me ask you guys this, though, because I was having a sort of, like, disagreement with my brother. Because my brother said that the best, the star of this whole thing was Colin Farrell. Mm. And my thing was, you see, this is similar to Gollum. How much credit do we give Colin Farrell? How much credit do we give the makeup? I'm going to tell you guys this right now. That is the best makeup mm. I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Very exactly. Because I remember Gary Oldman in Dracula. Um, what's it called? Um, again, Gary Oldman again in Darkest Hour mm. and so forth. There's been some amazing makeup. The level of deeds, because the thing about this makeup is that it doesn't look like makeup. This mm. looks like a different person. Mm. And I can't see Colin Farrell at all in this. Mm. But my thing about it is that is it really Colin Farrell that takes all the credits, or is it us saying, oh "My gosh, man, this looks nothing like like this"? Just looks like a totally new ca character. I think we have to give him credit though, because regardless of the fact uh, he still has to do the acting. Some of the face facial expressions were amazing, and let's not forget the accent because that's not his accent; he's Irish. Yeah. And if you, if you, I saw the interview, the guy is. Proper very Irish. Irish. Like, I, I, like, I was like, oh, my God, I never knew this guy who speaks like this. Like, he's proper Dublin accent. You know, I don't care. That's the Dublin accent. And that's what he has. And for mm. you to move away from the Dublin accent and from the actions he's done in movies, mm. a fair play to him. I, I like the, like, I like him. Obviously, now we've moved on to characters. I think we give him his flowers because cool. the way he was doing it with the faces, some of the face reactions, like, some of the moments, you know, like, uh, like we all know the moment where he, he, when he was so, so scared the Batman is coming after him. Like, that's the is just... Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. after. Like, like, he did well. Like, yeah. you know... I you, got you! you. Like, I got you! I know, yeah. I know. Like, like, you see, because if you have to have a different face, you also have to have the voice and the acting. So he yeah. became that. He took the makeup and he owned it. Because other yeah. actors could have bricked it. <laughs> you know, yeah. point that coming yeah. out with an accent, you're like, what the hell is this accent you're, you're giving us here with this character? But look, you're right. Uh, the makeup. All I can say is the people who are doing makeup, if they don't get uh, any awards at the well, global wave, that'll, that'll, that'll be unfair. That'll be unfair. This yeah, movie right. deserves to be nominated, but you know the, they don't nominate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but, no, but okay. So obviously, if we're not, was the Joker that. nominated? The Joker. He was. Yeah, he was. No, the Joker. Joaquin Phoenix. They did. They did. I think wait, they did. Wait, wait, wait. You mean for makeup or for the performance? I think some. I think what he finished was for performance. Well, no, yeah, he he won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he won the yeah. award. He won it. He won it. Yeah, he won it. Yeah. So, so, look, as I think I said before, like for me, I think that the best pit of this whole thing was because I really liked Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, he was. He was good. Completely good. Yeah. He was. He was born to be that character. He was. Bro, born he to was be because that I think, do you know why I liked it? Again, because we're not going to talk about, and I'm Patrick, I've got a bone to pick with you, because we'll get it to the bad points, because I'm going to mm -hmm. now talk about Paul Dano, because I've got, I've had beef with Paul Dano since there will be blood, but we'll, we'll get there. But, mm -hmm. Jeffrey writes, 
the why I liked it is because again for me, I used to do acting. So it's, it's before I actually used to I actually mm. wanted to be an actor. So that mm. was my thing. And what you learn in acting is less is more. Yeah. And let the eyes do the, the work and so forth, you know, yeah. and let the audience infer what you're saying by the eyes doing the work rather than you having to do all this stuff. And what I like about Jeff Wright is that he played it very low key. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So there was, for me, and people may miss this. My favorite scene in this whole thing was um, when they find Penguin. Mm. And him and Batman start to interrogate him. Yeah, okay. yeah. When, when you're speaking Spanish, England, yeah, 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 and the yeah. penguin's like, "What is wrong with you guys? Am I the most intelligent person?" No, 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 because see, because see, why I like that is because I was like, "There's never been a scene that has felt so real like this in any mm. Batman film." So, oh, this feels like a real scene mm. that you would mm. see like in a, in a detective mm. film. But mm. how, again? Like as Patrick said again, when you when Batman comes into that the the detective, that's like, oh, hey, bro. Mm. I know there was a moment that I even paused. I think there was moments with Catwoman. I was about to say, <laughs> people are talking to each other <laughs> <laughs> because because when you look at the, the Nolan films, they don't talk to each other. They have monologues. Yeah. So yeah. they're like archetypes. So <laughs> this is my big speech. My big speech. Like Alfred and Bruce Wayne, they are talking to each other like real people, mm. but. It's like if these are like real conversations rather than I am the archetype, I'm my archetype, and this is my monologue to represent who I am as a character. So, oh, AK, hey, hey, before before I forget, what you just said is right. Like, like we look at the Batman with uh, Christian Bell. All of a sudden, Catwoman cares about him. Remember, like, how did that yeah, happen? Yeah, yeah, how yeah. did it happen? Like, there's no chemistry belt. There was nothing they did. There's only a few situations yeah. where he helps on the rooftop, and then at the end. Oh, she's in love and that in love already. Like, where where did he come from? But here you can tell how the chemistry is building. You get what I mean? You so saw you were right. They didn't talk to each other. Like that woman in, in the bell one and her him, they end up running away together. But where did ignore, they where did they uh, talk? Ignore, ignore Dark Knight Rises? Dark Knight Rises was just a, a add on an add on I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that, 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 oh, that yeah, that's yeah. I was just trying to give an example of uh, like what I should say that there's at least here there's talking, character building. You can tell the reason why Catwoman and Batman can end up together because chemistry is in belt. But if I give an example of that situation, you're like, okay, why do you care about him now? You know what I mean? Like, why? Yeah, like, no. you guys haven't worked together that much. Why do you so, care? Wait, well, I should read it because I, cause I, cause I saw you nod, nodding and everything, like mm -hmm. the fighting. Talk to me about, about, about the, the fighting. Because. So, obviously Sorry, we're obviously on 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 good points, you know. So it's about, about the movie, so, so you mentioned fighting. It's just the oh, obviously there's, I mean, the, the, one of the opening scenes where the, where he like he comes in and like he rescues the uh, the guy from the train and basically just manhandles all those sort of Joker. We, we perceive anyway, Joker gang, you know, backup dancers, Joker backup dancers. Sorry. I'm saying Joker's backup dancers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you supposed to be? It's like, man, bro, you know. So just, 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 just stop it, you know. So the 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 fighting was very, you know. But what I will say is that compared to Dr. is that the fighting was very much close to home. As you already, as you already said, when Batman fought, you're like, I'm generally concerned that he might die. There might mm. be something, but yes. also, um. You can sense, and he says it in the movie, like, you know, that he's angry, that he's still working for things, there's still vengeance, that, like, he's still not over a lot of what. Because, obviously, during this movie, you find out later on the line, you know, that his father was in some dodgy stuff. And mm, yeah, like, yeah. I've been fighting for my father, but actually, my father was a bit dodged. So, what the, yeah. you know, and so I do mm -hmm. like the fighting that he has physically, but also verbally with, you know, the people around him, like, like the... You talk about, for example, the um, relationship he has with um, Jim Gordon. Oh, Jim Gordon. Like the relationship he actually has with Alfred. Because I mm. like the fact that it's not this kind of solely a paternalistic, oh, you know, Alfred Butler, go and get me this. Or, oh, Bruce, I'm going to do everything for you type of thing. It's yeah, like, thank you. Finally. We're tired of all with Alfred. And yeah, yeah. No, or, like... Alfred, he's just there to basically make speeches. Like speech, you know? exactly. Or like, what do you do? A man just wants to watch the world. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know. Literally, the first, the first thing, the first thing he says to him, like, it's like, like, bro, like, it's like, like, he's like, where, you know, where are you? Got a few commitments to blah, blah blah. It's like, listen, bro, you're not my dad. Like, back off. You know. So yeah. there's tension yeah. between between them, and then obviously 
you we see Alfred, you know, getting um he gets he gets injured due to the thing and and he and you know how he deals with that. Like it's like and, and Batman, about, like so there was one really good scene about that Alfred thing, you know, when um he's in the hospital, yeah, yeah. and then the nurse says that's okay, is there any next of kin? And mm. Bruce says, like, just me. So mm. it just shows how mm. all mm. they have is each other. You know, mm, mm, mm. so just that and simple he, thing. We just showed that. Yeah, I just showed it. And even in that scene, which I, I was like, this Batman is cold because Bruce has been like, he's he's in the hospital, mm. like so, well, he's in, he's, he's he's recovering, and Bruce is like, why didn't you tell me that it was light? It wasn't like, oh, Alfred, how are you? Are you okay? This is my fault. It was <laughs> like, you lied to me, bro. So like, so even that, I was like, bro. I mean, yeah. he's. You know what I mean, you know. So, but yeah. but I'd say the best thing, the best fight scenes were when um when he was actually confronting the police. You know, at times in this movie, I was like, is this like a BLM like like advert? Oh. <laughs> 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 because this was exposing this was exposing police corruption, man. This was like yeah. it was if you wanted to a, a an advert for BLM, you know. So like <laughs> a lot of exposed the corruption in the police. So so when he was like, you know. Going was it in, the, in the police the precinct and and obviously he was um trying to escape or something and they're all starting it was like yeah I'll, I'll I'll take you I'll take you guys on because you could sense the anger of the fact that I now know that I can't trust any of you guys you all corrupt you mm. also unlike this gym guy so yeah no no ultimately like um for me I think in summary like I prefer the fight scenes in this movie because one there was less of them. And two, it was more. It was more close to home, like that goes, that's yeah. what I can see, you know. So, but yeah, it, it reminded other... you a bit of uh, what's this, this again? You know, the movies that came out recently that have got good fights, fights that feel like these are real extraction. Mm -hmm. Remember extraction? It came on Netflix. Extraction oh, with uh, Chris yeah. Elson, yeah. Then, then uh, John Wick. Those I'm yeah, liking yeah. such scenes, you know, like such mm -hmm. good, good uh, choreography when it comes to fighting. Not some of the fights that look so fake. You're like, ah, no, you're right. He gets heat. He gets, but you know, the other thing is, you're right. This Batman is a bit dark and doesn't give a, a, a niche at all. And you're right, he's heartless. I think he's so into Batman and he, he doesn't know how to balance life. He doesn't know how to balance the, that, that. I can, I can be somebody else. It, it may make a mistake. It's someone, I remember some watching video and someone said this where, like, because obviously you don't see a lot of Bruce Wayne during this movie, but he'll say that even yeah. when you see Bruce Wayne, he's still Batman. Like yeah, he's, he's, he's he's just, actually he's, still he's, Batman the way he, like he acts. Like he's he's still he's he's not. No, no, but, no, but, 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 but see, this goes to you see when people go and watch a film, you you can't have these preconceived notions of what you want to see. So yeah, I think true. people are saying, "Well, we want to see the Playboy Bruce Wayne or Bruce Wayne." This is a take, mm. and in his take, mm. he doesn't like being Bruce Wayne. Mm. He wants to be Batman because obviously. He is obviously not comfortable in his skin as Bruce. Hence why, like, bro, I think again, I think I was reading this online. You know, mm -hmm. when he goes, they don't know, walk out to the cipher, and then yeah. he goes to the sort of like dinner table and so forth. And I think mm -hmm. he draws the blinds and he goes like Ugh. so mm -hmm. obviously he spends so much time at night, he had these mm -hmm. scenes daylight. Yeah, so yeah, obviously yeah. we're reaching a point of Bruce where Bruce Wayne is a relic. He's a re recluse. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he doesn't want, he doesn't, so basically, he's literally Batman 24-7. And <laughs> it's year two, so he, as I said, I think because it's year two, so he doesn't, he hasn't learned how to balance two things at once. Yeah. You know, he's new, yeah. like, let's say when you start something new, you, like, when you start a new job, sometimes you just go hardcore at the job. Do you go night out? No. You don't go to clubs yeah, yet yeah. or drinking because you're like, yeah, let me do this job. So I think eventually, maybe later on, he mm -hmm. will learn to say, you know what, I have to do certain things as Bruce Wayne to get to get what I want. Because remember the club scene where he comes in as Bruce yeah, Wayne. Yeah, and he comes yeah, in as that. Yeah. I think he's trying to test out that maybe sometimes I need to be Bruce Wayne to get something else. So maybe you realize that later on. But it's here too, so he's new. So you're right. This guy, like I, I saw, you could see from his face. This guy doesn't care. Even when they hit him, he comes back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, oh, I also, I also, all the really good points is again shades of gray. So in so many iterations, Thomas Wynn is a saint. Mm. Yeah. He's true, a saint, true. he's a nice guy, and, and so forth. What I liked was how we, we, we didn't really give a definitive answer, which mm. is why, again, again, 
I I hate keep going back to the norm phase. My issue with the norm films is it's telling you what to think. It doesn't leave anything to interpretation. Yeah. Do you, do you believe what Falcone says about um, Thomas Wayne, or do you believe Alfred? Now, because it's Alfred, we should believe Alfred. But should we? Mm, Maybe yeah. Maroni got him killed. Mm, so why yeah. can't? So why shouldn't we believe what Falcone said? The word no. Mm. Thomas Wayne was like, Falcone, can you go and take care of this dude? Yeah. And so forth. And mm. maybe when he said, take care of this dude, and he got angry, maybe he just felt guilty because mm. you know what you really wanted. You wanted to get rid of that reporter. And mm. you know who, you, you know the kind of mind that Falcone is. Mm. So yeah. what do you expect? Fal if you say to Falcone, take care of this dude, and now this guy is a stubborn guy, yeah. what do you expect yeah, him to, yeah. to, to do? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So not a good I like that how like, mm. Thomas Wynn isn't this civil sense. He was a politician. Yeah. Who, yeah. when it now gets dirty, you've now have to now do dirty things and resort to mm. mobsters to try to keep mm. face. So it adds just a little bit of weights and shades of gray in. So the Bruce Wayne, his parents, mm. and also freaking Martha as well. Mm. She was obviously a bit crazy. And yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody's bringing that. Have you noticed that it was brought out in the Joker? Remember, in mm. the Joker, it was also touched upon a bit that uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Thomas Wayne married a, a woman who was part yeah, of a mental. Yeah, 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 he, yeah, like yeah. he liked people from a men mental hospitals. Then it was also brought in uh, Ben Affleck for a while, where because they wanted to do uh, what's that again? Uh, Flashpoint Batman. I think they wanted to do that. Oh, yeah. That's just yeah, the yeah. joke and that. So I think it's good that I said opening up that these are just not nice people because billion. Yeah. Who knows a billionaire who doesn't have who has never got his hands dirty? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, there's always sense. You're right, H. They always painted a sense everywhere. There was oh, Bruce Wayne, his, brother, his parents died. Amazing, that pictures are there, statues. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. uh, are you serious? Like, you just get money like that in a in a Gotham in Gotham City. How it's yeah. about uh, well, of hours connected and you, you're just mm -hmm. clean. No, you yeah. can't. They didn't just let you be. You know what I mean? Well, this yeah. is this is why you know, certainly at the beginning of the movie, and I guess this will almost transition into, into potentially the bad points, you know, so, but um, as we talk about like the, the Riddler and mm -hmm. where like I, um, where I, where I, at, at least for the, for the most of the movie, I'd say I, I liked him towards the end. It got a bit odd because it started to get a bit jokery cartoonish, but at the beginning of the movie and, and so into the middle of the movie, you know, when it was, when you had the whole, you know, the way that, uh, he he obviously made his riddles and his crimes and stuff like mm. that. Where you, where you, where we ha where Batman had to figure out what he was doing and who obviously he was, and the fact that you know f for that maybe half of the movie I was like you know is is what the rid is there was a question to be asked where like is what the riddle is what the riddle doing completely wrong you know mm. is what he's doing there was a, there was a, there was a more ambiguity question because mm. if the riddle didn't do what he did. Then nothing would be exposed, and things yeah. just continue going on there. And this corruption was, and, and that's one of the things I also liked about this movie was that, like, unlike um, the the Nolan trilogy, where okay, yes, there was corruption in you know in the police and the court stuff like that. So, yeah. but it, but it, but it was almost like it was just there to almost it's supplement to supplement the the action of, of yeah. Azar Gul and all the bigger superhero villains. Yeah. Whereas here, like the corruption. Was like it's the heart of the film. It's the meat and potatoes of the film. Exactly, exactly. It wasn't so much the like too much, um, you know, at the end when Riddler did his grand master plan or whatever that that that, that was. All those things that really wasn't the, the the aim of the 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 heart of the movie was the complete and total corruption, every single level of Gotham, and you know, and so as a result, because you could see that, I was like, well, you know what, Rid what Riddler's doing isn't so bad. Because mm. if he didn't expose it, and I, I'm not, not, I'm not justifying murder. I'm not trying to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's just the way that he does it. It's a bit extreme it that he, he ends up with something bad. That's what. Yeah, yeah exactly. But this, but this is what I'm saying is like, but it's like this is where the more argument comes in. But it's because, but it's like, but because the corruption roots so deep, sometimes mm -hmm. I, you, I understand why you have such a reaction because obviously his background is that he's from an orphanage. They're, they're yeah. promised things, lies, you know, the sorts of these sort of almost like it was let down, yeah, by the city, yeah. let down type of thing. So, um, but when you see the fact that you're talking like, like DAs, judges, you know, seen like police officers, officials, politicians, everyone all in the pocket, not in the pocket of obviously Falcone mm -hmm. and Bolden Blunt stuff, you're like, how do you actually change something when the corruption is so deep? 
And the only yeah. thing that Gotham right now seems to be able to listen to, and that's that's why at times there was a power between the Riddler and the Batman, because it was like the only thing that Gotham right now will listen to is violence. Yeah. You know, they're not going to, they, they, the people, the city, they can't listen to anything else other than violence because the corruption is so deep. Um, and that obviously at the end of the movie, Batman comes to like the realization that, oh crap, I can't just be vengeance and fear and anger because I'm no different than these dudes. I have to betray yeah, them. He, he, I, think, I think he was touched by, he was touched by your man also calling himself vengeance, isn't it? The bad guy. He was very touched by that. No, exactly. You know, so I, Obviously, like I said, and we'll go to the bad points, I, I didn't like how it sort of ended and how the Riddler became more Joker-esque, as it were, as, as the movie went on and, and towards the end. But I did like the fact that it did give you a, you know, it wasn't, at least initially, a case of this is black and this is white. Mm. Uh, it was like, actually, this is basically, Gotham fundamentally, cre Gotham fundamentally created the Riddler. If Gotham wasn't the way that it was, the Riddler wouldn't have existed. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, you know? So, yeah. Did you guys enjoy... Just one more thing. Did, did you guys okay, enjoy well. this? Obviously, uh, it's a smart thing, but uh, it's a smart thing because of the world these days. Did you notice that uh, the way they touched upon social media issues where somebody yeah. can be bad like that and there's always supporters? Like, people are still supporting the Riddler, you know what I mean? Like, people... Oh, yeah. He still had a, a, a followers. People yeah. Were yeah. On it. yeah, no, no, because I think oh, someone made yeah. a very good, good point that, you know, you always yeah. said, how... How do these guys get henchmen? Mm -hmm. So do you just get henchmen out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. That's the good thing showing that the people can follow you. Makes sense mm -hmm. because extremists will always have a group of followers, mm -hmm. and yeah. those guys that mimic him were just guys who, who are fully extreme. And their guy, whether it's white supremacists or so forth, who would say, "Oh yeah, man, you're right," and would actually go out and mm -hmm. trying to live and go. So his henchmen made full sense in whatever because it's brought in the whole thing of social media having followers. Mm -hmm. Of a kind of a crazy guy online. Yeah, the, the way the way the phone was popping just shows like you know when somebody has a lot of followers and they follow, yeah. like it was popping a lot. People, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just, just, like, yeah. Like, you see the crazy people in this world. It's also a question that yeah. it's both yeah. of these movies uh, which are making me even the Joker question society and also I've seen Matthews did the same thing in here also. That's why personally I think they missed the trick with the Joker movie and this somehow if they found a way. I know you say don't connect things, but if they found a way. They all were grounded and were so similar, but maybe there was a master plan. Because now I, I, I know that I, there's been rumors saying, even though they've brought the new Joker guy, they were still saying they wanted the way these two could have connected, but they messed up already in the Joker by making, <laughs> making <laughs> the uh, Bruce Wayne small in there. No, because obviously, like, obviously, so this obviously spoilers and stuff and everything. Mm. So, okay, this is not a good or a bad point. I mm. hated that thing with the Joker. Yeah. Now, let me be real. Remember with you, I was so convinced that they wouldn't do a Joker thing. I thought it was Two Face. Mm. So even when he said, "Oh, everyone thinks that you're a clown," I'm like, "No, come on, you're not going to do Joker." So we mm. now saw like his crazy. Things. I was like, "Oh yeah, it's it's Two Face. That's just his really bad side." But then my Reeves has said that again. I remembered. So basically, my Reeves will come there is the Joker. So basically, he filmed a scene with Batman and the Joker. So mm. what happens, I think somewhere in the middle of the film, Batman mm. goes to Arkham Asylum mm. and actually goes to meet the Joker. Mm. And I think the Joker sort of talks to him. So we see, they obviously have a history, but yeah, they filmed a scene with him and the Joker where Batman sees the Joker in Arkham Asylum. But he, but he said, my research, he, he made put it um, on, on, online afterwards. Mm -hmm. so that'd be I, interesting. I think, I think the, the taking it out was, was clever. You know why? Regardless, wh whether we like it or not, the Joker is, uh, it also just proved with the movie, the Joker is just a character that's too big. Even people thought it, he cannot survive without Batman. He's too big that he survived one billion. Like one billion, that movie made one billion. Yeah. And without Batman, like imagine putting in Joker there. Do you know what everybody was going to do in that movie? Our minds were going to be lost. No, no, be and, 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 well, let's see him again. Let's see him again. Where is he? Where is he? Bring him back. You know, you know what I mean? I know, thing. You see, my thing is, if I was advising, don't introduce the Joker at all to any of these films. Because mm. the Joker is too extreme a character. You see, someone that walks next is Harvey Dent's Two-Face. Two-Face mm. wasn't done well in that thing. This mm. is a world where Harvey Dent makes perfect sense. So if you're smart, mm. you have a second film that is just Harvey Dent. So you, don't, you, don't think, you don't think regardless, uh, Joker wouldn't work in this world because this world is dirty and bad. This is a dirty, it's more, it, bad it, it, 
if it was the Joker from the the, the Joker movie, then yes, I can I can I can see that. It's, yeah, it, that's it, what I'm saying. They missed the trick. They missed the trick. They mustn't go. Yeah. 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 Then yeah, that can work because they, because because you can see the you can see that they see the connection and obviously the Bruce Wayne corruption and so on. So that Joker works, but if you're now creating a completely different Joker who's now a complete psychopath, you don't yeah, really want the complete yeah. psychopath. Oh, you know, unless they unless they give a the only way I can see it, it can work is if they do a lot of world building beforehand. There's yeah. got to be almost a lot of like. Well, boom that way, like it almost builds up to the Joker, and, and then you're like, okay, I can understand why he is the way that he is. Uh, if they cool. bring him onto the scene as this crazy clown, it's like, okay, this is completely out of place. Like, this doesn't make sense. Okay, so I've got to go, man. Sorry, Patrick, man. <laughs> now, look, Paul Dana. <laughs> you see, <laughs> Paul Dana is a guy who I've had issues with all the way. So, have you seen There Will Be Blood? No, but I I saw what, what where where was he in again? You know where he he kidnapped he was kidnapping prisoners? kids, prisoners, yeah, Prison So yeah, prisoners. The the thing with Paul Dano is again, it, let's say less is more. It's overacting. Mm. Like for me, one of the best scenes in this film was you know the opening scene where you know you see the mayor and then you just see Riddler up here. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> wow. Because I was yeah. like gen generally scared because you and that just this, 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 that, that this guy is a bit scary. But yeah, no, because it's of just, oh. just, you know, you're like, oh this oh. is a creepy weird dude. <laughs> My issue is that let the the character himself already looks weird and odd. You don't need to do that much to Push how odd he is. So yeah, can, can, can I can I get, can I guess can I guess you uh, uh you he lost you in the prison scene when he started laughing and going yeah he's... before <laughs> um do you know when um the guy has the bomb attached to him Oof. and then Batman comes and takes the whole phone call like when he starts going crazy like, oh rah, rah, and it's all going crazy I'm like you don't need <laughs> to do that it's like you can just you can. <laughs> You can play it low key because you're uh, based on based off the crimes you've been committing and so forth. You're already you're already, yeah. already, a, you're already a crazy dude. So yeah. by you just being calm and low key, it's even scarier than yeah, you now as someone crazy because a guy that pretty much kills people, puts a rat trap to a dude and kills a guy through rat poison. A guy that's pretty mm. much bangs a guy on the head with like a blunt force. Yeah. This is a crazy blew up dude. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I from when you look at again, John Tutsuro was amazing as Fal Falcone. He was really good. When I mean, just look at what everybody was doing and the tone of the film, mm. Paul Dinner just sort of just uh, you mm. just you, you basically upset the balance of the very kind of low-key, realistic, grounded tone that was good. Because basically, mm. what Paul Dinner was doing belongs in Batman forever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he, he took a leaf out of Jim Carrey's uh, character, didn't he? For a minute, there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So, gone part. Yeah, I think. Go. I think he was trying. No, sorry, I think. What I noticed is, yeah, I think he was maybe. I don't know. Maybe he didn't convince himself that I've done the work. I think he's it's sort of trying to say, maybe let me show that this guy is a maniac. That this guy is out of. Out of no, it's but crazy. But, but you're right. You already showed us that. Oh. This is where again. This is from my experience making films. Oh. This is where the director comes in. So mm -hmm. as an actor, you are reliant on your director. As an actor, oh. you're going to try stuff. Try, 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 try. The director says, ah, nah, no. No, try this way. Not that, yeah. ah, that, 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 didn't, that didn't work. So your director is the guy that sort of helps guys. Because the actor is, is always going to experiment. Because the actor just want to experiment. Which is why, again, you look at Bill's voice. That's not on Bill. That's on Nolan. Because Nolan mm -hmm. could be like, yo, Bill. Yeah, so Matt Reeves should have been like, Yo, Paul, oh, nah, just bring it down a bit, a bit more low key and so forth because it's upsetting the balance and everything. So, yeah, I mean, for me, it's because it was going so well that threw me off. That just threw me off his thing. So, mm. no, I mean, I, I it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, like, I think at the beginning it worked, you know, and I think maybe why it was more, um, how can I say? It was more noticeable was because the whole riddle aspect was done in such a logical way that you didn't then need to go to bring this it, it was weird it's like you, you clearly you're an intelligent person yes the, the, the riddles the way that you set up everything that you set up like is like so you're trying to make this guy a maniac 
a crazy maniac lunatic, but like clearly he's not because like everything that has been set up to this point has been very intelligent. Shows so, a meticulous guy, yes. Exactly, yes. you're very meticulous. So to then go, it's like, huh? Like he's <laughs> instead, in, instead, would have been nice on those videos, for example, would have been like for him to, for example, just um, been like the Riddler, just been like to have said another riddle. For yeah. example, like to continue the riddle. So that way you're like, okay, the guy's clearly unhinged because he's just telling riddles, but like it mm. doesn't, but it's not to the point where you're thinking, you know, this guy is just saying random words and looking insane and something. It's just his MOT based on what he's doing, i.e. Yeah. the Riddler, he's the Riddler, you know. So because at, at the end of the movie, you're like, okay, so what's the difference between him and Joker potentially? Because yeah. <laughs> He's, he's now saying something like, no, yeah, just because, like, when you saw him, like, both laughing in the jail, yeah. so I was like, so because that's because, see, I've I'm not a fan of the Joker, <laughs> that kind, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, because for me, I'm like, I know the Joker, he's popular, he's cool, he's funny, but there is more depth in mm -hmm. Riddler and Two Face that I find more in Joker is not an interesting character, he's just mad, he's fun, he's not interesting, like. Batman is interesting. Like Riddler is interesting because there's so much psychology and texture to this kind of character. So I just thought that's for like Riddler, which is why it's it was so good that they made Riddler because okay, this isn't a Batman film that we've seen before. Because Riddler in Batman Forever was just the guy was just completely mad, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it was just crazy. Yeah, yeah so yeah, very mad. Oh, um, okay. Look, I mean, she looks, she looks good. She looks. She looks great. She is oh, great. Come on, come on. She is great. Ah, ah don't don't throw her. Are you dissing? Are you dissing? She because because see, see for me, I don't know how old you guys are. I don't know whether you guys used to watch a different world or the Cosby Show. The, the Cosby Show. Are you talking about the Bill Cosby Show? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen few, I've seen few, but uh, I did I didn't I didn't sit down and watch all of it. Yeah, like I I grew up with that. So basically. Zoe, Zoe Kravitz's mother is Lisa Bonet, mm. and she used to be on um, this show called A Different World and a Cosby mm. Show and so forth. And she was seen as oh, she's like the mm. sexy light skin. So this is her her, her her daughter. And this is my my thing here is that is a very very good role. Mm -hmm. If you give that to a really good actress, that elevates the film because when you just look at how important that role is. And where, because, because have you guys read the comic Batman Year One? Yeah, I've, I've read it ages ago. Um, but yeah, like, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, basically, yeah. that's 100. percent That is modeled on the Catwoman in Batman Year One. Because in Batman Year One, like Catwoman is black, mm -hmm. you know, and she's basically embedded into the city and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so, because really, Catwoman is pretty much the a a regular person living within the mock and everything of Gotham mm. City, caught up in mm. the mm. corruption and so forth. She's just trying to, like, yeah. you know, make ends meet. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And she was fine, but you could have done so much more with a better actress in that role. So I was, it was a bit like, uh... <coughs> the new thing it was purposely done so that she doesn't. Um... This is thing. Uh, some certain things are purposely done so she doesn't overshadow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that a part of me is like it's it's difficult because like because one of my fears, especially watching the trailers, recent trailers, when you saw more of her, was like, oh, I don't want her to completely like over over outstage um, Robert Pattinson's Batman because I want us to focus mm. on obviously Batman. Yeah. Um, and then in fairness, fair, in fairness to her, I mean maybe it's because. Okay, Michelle, I think Michelle Fab did a d decent job, job as Catwoman back hands and down. So, but the bar for Catwoman has been so low, like, <laughs> like so low that like, no, like, and, she, and Hathaway was that was oh. Hathaway was bad. We're, we're not even going to talk about the Halle Berry movie because I mean, <laughs> bro, <laughs> when no, 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 when she sort of when she's on that bike and that outfit, no, that outfit was tier one. That yeah. outfit. <laughs> the, outfit yeah, the outfit was good. The outfit was wait, good. Wait, wait, wait. So as soon as you saw the outfit, let's say when you're writing the movie out of ten, as soon as you saw the outfit, the outfit we got it to fire already. It was just halfway. <laughs> it's just at the movie. <laughs> no, no, no. Just for the outfit alone, it gets five marks because it really it gets zero without that the outfit. So yeah. yeah. I I mean we need to do we need to, I, I was saying this we need to do some like uh, like I don't I don't know if you watch like double toast they have like these oh, yeah. bad movie review things. We need to do like a bad movie review. 
like segments from <laughs> Cyborg. I was watching the Obama and Robin Ward, but bro, I forget. Do you, do you know how? Do you know how messed up that film? Was? That's bad, man. Well, well, the, the Batman had nipples, and the, he had a bad credit card. Remember? Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> Who thought that? Was- <laughs> you know, do, do you know what? Because because I was, I was doing like red retrospective reviews here. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that I was because I said, wait a minute, did they go to space? I was like, no. They went to space. They went to space. They went into space, and then they and then they surfboard. What on ice? And the, the, and, and the line from there. Uh, everybody stay cool. <laughs> yes, chill. You know, so, yeah. shout out to, chill. <laughs> shout out. To he, he, and he said, "You know what? And there's a part where it kills me all the time. He freezes the pipes. He's like, this is why you should winterize your pipes." I'm like, <laughs> Uh, that movie needs that movie needs a review. Not right, right. We we definitely well, like at some point we need to have like like almost like a bad movie review segment. Yeah. We have list the movie and then we just go back and we just roast some of some some of these as previous <laughs> ones and Catwoman from there. But yeah, so my my point is that like for me the bar for Catwoman wasn't particularly high to begin with. Yeah, but it's not that she didn't do so. For me, in the context of this movie, um, I agree. With you. I'm not saying that she's like a fantastic actor, but I think that. I think she did enough. I don't think her inclusion brought down no. the movie. You're no. right. Maybe a better actor could have could have in, could have made it better, but I don't mm-hmm. think it was enough that it was like, oh, this is this is now taken. Um, this is now taken from the movie. Um, it's 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 a mean. To, and it was also nice to actually have a Catwoman that, um, you know, maybe this is my own personal opinion, but like wasn't selfish. You know that, like, she obviously had her intentions. Like, you know, she was in essentially like a hero, but like, obviously, her father and stuff that was a bit of a douche, you know. So, but that there was essentially what I'm saying is that there was genuine because the problem with Cameron depiction sometimes is that she's written as a kind of like a anti hero slash villain slash love interest for Batman. More often, not has no real motivation behind yeah. why she does yeah. what she does. Whereas at least in this movie, they at least gave her motivation to be. No, 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 no. no she was a character. She was an actual character. A character, yeah. So, she, so where, wherever scene she was in, you're like, okay, I can see the purpose behind what she was, what she was doing. You know, um, and especially when you know you you find out that um, she's the daughter of Falcone. The, exactly. That scene between him and something like, what the, what is this? Like, he, hmm. he, he, fl- he, he flips off because at this point, Bruce basically doesn't trust anybody. Yeah. I, I was. Like, I was at one point, it's like, is Bruce gonna like deck Catwoman or something? Because he's so angry, <laughs> like, bro. Some violence is coming out, you know, mm-hmm. but he didn't, you know. So, um, um, and obviously, and, know, then, and another thing that came in is things that have been ignored is at least Cat- Catwoman in here, they showed her that she's still a cat burglar, that she steals, she still does the stealing mm-hmm. because people don't understand that that's what she was in the comic books, and that's how Batman kept on catching her. All the time he catches the stealing. That's what he does. He, mm. he, even in the cartoons, he always catches the stealing something. She steals something. That's what. I, she, that's how she survives in Gotham by stealing mm. things. She cannot afford anything. She steals mm. it. So it's a good thing. I think. I think Zoe Kravitz did her part. Uh, mm. But I see that also. I think that. I think that trying to get her to do her own thing, her own series. Because when she goes to that city that she was trying to get Batman to go, mm. if you go in a com- in one of the comic books, apparently. She, she, there's a whole comic book of her in that city, and she mm. becomes a hero in that city. So right. maybe that's what, yeah, that's what the, the whole did the whole thing. Where I'm going there, you coming with me? No, you know, but she she goes there. I think they're trying to give her own show. Hopefully they do. Oh, mm. You know what? Hopefully they keep a cat woman movie and we redeem ourselves from the Harry oh. Day super <laughs> super <laughs> cat. Happy birthday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> any 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 other any other bad points before we might maybe tie into like like honing on like a favorite character appearances? Uh, Wait, can I ask one more thing for you two guys? Did you hit the length of the movie? Do you think the length of the movie was necessary? That's a bad That's point. Okay, go yes, go on. That's what we're Go on, go on. I'm happy that you're gonna go three hours. That's cool. Mm. Yeah. And I love long films. Like one of my favorite films is um, Lawrence of Arabia, which mm. is like almost four hours long. You know, yeah. if you're going to do it a long film, you have to have a certain level of actor mm. to carry you through. Yeah. Robert yeah. Pattinson, he's a good actor. Yeah. Do you, can Pattinson carry a three hour film where he's in almost every scene? That's a tall ask. Yeah. So I think that, you see, for me, I didn't feel the length of the film because. There were so many different elements and so many different moving pieces. Mm. But basically, the length didn't bother me, but I noticed the length of the film, but it didn't yeah. bother me. Yeah. But if yeah. you have a charismatic, magnetic actor who mm-hmm. 
guides you through and you are fascinated by him and so forth, mm -hmm. then that is what you need to carry through our film. So it's a mm -hmm. tall ask to get a Robert Patterson who, let's, he's still sort of trying to mm -hmm. gain respect Pardon after that. Yeah, like exactly. rap. So yeah. it's yeah. a tall ask to get Robert Patterson to really lead a three hour film. So mm -hmm. if you're doing three hour, and also, let's be real, I like three hours is cool. You can easily make this two and a half. Mm. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, you could have. Mm. Easily make the two and a half. Mm. So yeah, no, I agree. I think I think there was it was a, it was um, it, you know, I I think that if if it had gone any longer, I think the people would have definitely been like, okay, no, this is this is this is this is this is, this is take the mm. you know, so, yeah, let's stop it now. <laughs> you know, um, just stop it now. So um, but uh, let alone if any, any extended stuff. So but yeah, I think. As, as you said, the, the poor Danino's depiction towards the end as Riddler, Catwoman at times, you know, and the um, and the length of the movie were probably, I'd say, the main bad points um, of the movie. Um, oh, sorry, I should even mention one of the good points. The musical score was was, was ah, great. Ah, great. That was great. Yeah, was in, great. in that in that part, that means you, you take out the bad points and you have a yeah, like, yeah, yeah. talk about the score. <laughs> The score was absolutely fantastic. It was just, I don't know who, who composed it. Like, I'm, I'm um, sure Michael oh, Giacchino. Yeah, I did. Michael Giacchino, fine. Michael Giacchino. So, 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 no, basically, he does a lot of stuff with, um, basically, yeah, he does a lot of stuff with Matt Reeves and JJ Abrams and so yeah. forth. Um, no, 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 very, no, very, no, good, you, good. you remember that, and uh, and and. You can put that as like you can actually put that as your morning ringtone to wake up in the morning. It's just again, people will find I'm sorry, but we have to keep on going back to the Nolan films. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that he never had a theme? What in the, in the Nolan films? Think about it. Batman, there was no Batman theme in any of the, the, the Nolan films, they kept changing, they kept changing. But they kept changing the yeah. consistent theme. Oh, you mean like a, yeah. the oh, theme. I get there what you mean, yeah. Theme. Mm -hmm. there, there isn't one. I hope they keep this one. I hope they every no, time no, we no, see no, him, no, we no, no, no. Like, there's literally a song called Batman. So this is his theme. That, that's mm -hmm. that's his theme. So switching to I think the favorite characters now. I just I want to use a section to make a shout out to um is it, is it um DeVito who played Falcone man. Um because... Oh, no, 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 John Turturro, you mean? So oh, John Turturro, sorry, yeah, who played Falcone. Phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. Quality. Because quality. Absolutely quality. As a, like, to me... Um... He's mostly over the top in other films, isn't he? Like, exactly. Here he was. So, so, yeah. Exactly. He's over the top, his comedy, etc. And then to do that, I was like... Because... And I was saying someone else because they were saying how they rated Batman Begins. I was like, Falcone was in Batman Begins, but he was... Ultimately, he was he, he was like almost like a two bit stereotype. criminal stereotype type of thing, um, you know, who really was was just surviving. Uh, well, you know, I wasn't scared of the dude. If that makes any sense, like he was just and, and and Batman wasn't either. As soon as Batman came in, it was like right, okay, here, this guy was dangerous. Yeah, like for someone who doesn't have any powers, who's not psychotic, who's not like. He he was a dangerous criminal to the point where I was thinking even Batman should be scared of this guy because you don't know how much yeah, yeah how, how, how much power, how much power, power, he, has, has. Yeah. power he has exactly yeah. you know it was just you know and I, and, and and it's weird because I'm like is he actually dead because I went he, he was he was I think he was shot yeah, he was shot but the way that it was filmed I was like and how and his presence I was like. I mean, I, I, I mean, I th now I thought he was, mm. but there was nothing definitive. I mean, I just assumed that oh, he was, but there's nothing to, to definitive. Exactly. Okay. But so, you say that because of how he was portrayed as a yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, not, but, but obviously, so it was Riddler who shot him, not Penguin. It was obviously with the Riddler who shot. Him. Yeah, 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 from my, my, my yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Didn't, didn't shoot him. So, but like, it's but you you have that question because of the way that because of how dangerous he was written. Yeah, no, he was dangerous. Like, no, 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 but, 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 but you see. This mm. goes back to my criticism of Paul Dennis. Like, you don't need to overact. Mm. So, less is more. By just mm. playing it low key, we already mm. know that, oh, geez, did this guy get that reporter killed? Oh, look at how everybody is reacting to him. So, mm. because he's, he plays very low key, not saying much, you're like, man, this could mm. be. Really... So, we are mm. using our imagination to know how crazy this dude is and so far. Remember, mm. we never saw him strangle anyone. 
No, we just hear it over the, the phone, which is even yeah. scarier hearing yes. the strangling thing over, over, over the phone. So, mm, mm, mm. any 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 other? Obviously, you mentioned um, Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright, like what, what, I'm, 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 I'm going straight, man. I'm going straight. I'm going to Robert Patterson. We have to give him his flowers. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, Twilight. A lot of people killed this guy. They were like, "Oh, there's going to the Batman is going to claw. The Batman is going to be like this." Uh, a lot of, you know, like they, yeah, they kept on giving nicknames. Like it's gonna be a vampire Batman, the emo Batman. Yes, you can call emo, but what he's what he's done to you guys is he just proved to you that I'm an actor. And for him to just people did rankings, and I'm surprised they did rankings of Batman. Robert Pattinson, Batman has gone so far where now people are confused saying, oh, can I choose between Robert Pattinson and so on and so on. Robert Pattinson has actually some of the top 10 Batman, like the top, top uh, five people have done. He's actually standing at number one. And why? Because the way he did it was amazing. Don't talk too much. As, as um, mm. HH keeps saying, don't act too much. Don't talk too much. You're scary. Mm. That's why he was scary. Like the mm. Batman enters the room, the police were like, oh my God, who's this guy? <laughs> he is an idiot. We don't know who he is. He's so unhinged, you know? Yeah. So I, th I think his acting was great. Like the eyes, you know? Like the, this is the first time we saw like a Batman using his eyes, the way he was looking, the way he looks at you, where he looks around, where he does with his face, like the first expressions. That's, that's what he was doing. Like it's also, very hard to do that. He was also intelligent as well. Like like yeah. compared to some of the, you know, again, I, I don't want to crap on Nolan movies and stuff like that. <laughs> but, but he, but, Let's be real, like Nolan Batman, Christian Bale, like relied so much on the, on the villain of a people. Whereas yeah. this, you know, where, whereas um, this guy, like, because Batman in the comics is it fair? He's intelligent, he's one of the smartest people, yeah, yeah. Um, in comics. And at least in this, you're like, obviously, it's not like a point, it's not a geek, but huh. you can see that, like, no, this guy knows what he's, talk he's, he's yeah. talking, he's yeah. and he's actually working through a lot of the stuff himself. And okay, Jim Gordon is there. You know, they 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 um bounce off each other, yeah. Each other shows up, but a lot of how Batman's coming is his own, um, his own innovation and creation and thought process, as opposed to Bale's Batman, which was okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get help from Alfred. I'm getting help from Jim. I'm getting help from all his people. I'm getting help from Alfred. Then I'm I'm getting help from like I never really felt that. Um, aside from the fact that he could fight and he could be a brawler, I never mm. felt that he got there by himself. He needed so yeah. much because that's the, so much that, help, yeah. That's the nature of Batman. Batman, the the reason why like it, there's like a series called I think called Tower of Babel, um, mm. where I don't know if you heard the comic series where um, basically long story short, you know, Batman cr has created protocols as to how to take down a Justice League if they ever go awry. You know, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he had, he had every, all the weaknesses. Yeah, exactly. You know, so when he gets easy and it's and typical Batman, he's like, oh, I'm Batman. I'm, what happens to me? But but that's the point is that he's so intelligent, so initiative that he doesn't part of his character is that yes, okay, he's got, it's the trauma of like not opening up, so he doesn't want to let people, and that's fair enough. But some of it is as HH we debated in our Batman versus Punisher video, like he's just so intelligent. That he can literally do it by himself with enough prep time. You know <laughs> I mean? He's he's got that. So I like the sort of this almost allude to to give back give this dude this give this Batman prep time, and he can take down anybody in Gotham if that makes sense. Yeah, true, true. Right? Yeah. Instead of just yeah. I can fight because I've got I'm I'm ripped. I question bail <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, cool man. Any any other characters? Any other shout out cuts? Even maybe some of the minor, like minor characters, not the big ones. Any minor characters that you, that you noticed that were like, um, I, I, no, you see, even I liked just even the policeman, like hmm. you know the the commissioner who ends up obviously getting killed that you see at the beginning. You know, yeah, 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 like, yeah. The world just basically the world just felt for real. Even um, I've forgotten the. The guy's name is something scars got like I know he's married to Maggie Gyllenhaal, the guy who was the guy who had the bomb strapped to him. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. you could I like that scene because it just it's mm. you see, Gotham felt so much, it felt like a re this for Gotham feels more like a real place than any Gotham in any Batman film. Yeah, yeah. Where oh I can feel the texture, the different cars. It feels like a city that I feel can actually really exist mm. on like any other Gotham that we've seen, you know. 
No, I agree. I agree. Um, I guess the last segment of this also uh, uh, um, is where do you guys see the future of this, I guess, series or, um, you know, is it, well, is it going to be a series or a sequel or a universe? He like, said the rumors are he wants to, do, he wants to do three or something. He wants to do three. I agreed to do three. Oh, it, it, a trilogy. Yeah. I think I yeah, yeah. About that. he wants to do it like a, a trilogy. Um, no, I mean, look, I, th I think what is going to happen is because these guys really want to promote to HBO Max. Yeah. So you're going to get Gotham PD on HBO Max and maybe like an Arkham series. It's going to have those series. And obviously, like, I think this film will do well enough as to where there'll be a, se a sequel for sure. Yeah. So, so you're going to have, and I think this would be in, and here's the, the, the thing though. This is why I am more interested in this future than let's say MCU and Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. Remember, HBO Max is okay. A Gotham PD, if Batman is on there, oh, we can make this thing 18. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether you guys have you watched Bordock Empire? Mm -hmm. I've not watched mm -hmm. it now. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, like very, like the kind of stuff that you see, like on, on HBO, like, like, mm -hmm. like the, the Wire, very mm -hmm. adult. So yeah. you can go really adult and really push it and really investigate and really expand Gotham. Yeah. On a Gotham PD show. Mm. And then Karen with the movie, so so then it's 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 it will make the films feel even richer, but in a more adult sense. Yeah, true. You know? So, um, I think no, I, I think it could be really interesting. Look, I feel that this what Mar Reeves has created is something really interesting mm. because is, I said yeah. again, I've always felt that if you read Barmania one. You read Arkham Asylum. You mm. read um, Dead and Returns. There, there is a very dark, edgy Batman that should be made. Because see, you can make two kinds of Batman things. You can go the theatrical route, which is what mm. Burton did, what Joe Schumacher did, and what um, not only that, what Logan Batman is. Mm. But then there's a much more adult route, which is mm. almost a horror movie. You yeah, know? Is, yeah. So mm. because a guy who is dressed as a bat, that's his cycle. <laughs> like, he's, he's, not well. he's, he's not normal. He's he's that's an insane thing to 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 do. So there is a much more psychological, horrific horror kind of thing, which is what we do. This is where it went to the Arkham Asylum comic book, where it's a horror movie now. You know, so yeah. yeah. I, I mean, but for me, please, please, no Joker, man. I've, yeah. It's it's bro, it's it's too much. No Joker. You know, you know what? You can also take it to this point though. If you want, if you don't want Joker. And or maybe Joker can keep him for the third one, so it goes total psychopath. You know what I mean? Maybe mm -hmm. after a few, but I think the second one must be the Court of Owls because the Court of Owls are more dangerous. There are, there are people like you and like in Gotham, it can be a waitress, it can be a taxi driver. The, everybody's part of the Court no, of no, Owls. No, 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 that can be what? dangerous. That's why they're gonna. I, I believe that's where they're, they're gonna go there. They're gonna go yeah. Court of Owls. Well, I believe. I think that's it's one reason why I like the ending of the whole thing because when you see the ending, when you see obviously when Catwoman leaves, um, and 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 she's like, "Listen, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be total war." So when I see the second you know film, I expect because she's like, "Listen, you've taken out like 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 life in general where you take out um, big guy, big guy, and then suddenly there's 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 there's." there's there's um there's warfare over different territory and stuff. So I at least what I want to see is that we start the second movie with that reality, you know, so like where you're literally seeing se like Gotham is basically falling apart because you're literally seeing segments of Gotham like vying. For I, 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 I was, sorry for something. Have you seen that there's a comic book? I just saw somebody was explaining and uh breaking down the whole movie mm -hmm. with the flooding and everything. There's a comic book where I don't know if that, that's why they want to go. Maybe they might go on. Oh, mm. The Court of Owl gets involved. Mm. But guess what? The Court of Owl gets involved, but they're quiet in the background, pulling the mm. strings. But guess who goes face to face? I know you don't like him, HH, but uh, Joker goes face to face against uh, Riddler. Like they have, they start off together as if they're together. Mm. Like they're friends, 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 friends. Then Riddler says, oh my God, this guy is, is next level. <laughs> then he tries to take out the Joker, and the Court of Owls uses them too as a way to distract uh, people from exactly what they're doing. Oh, then yeah. they, I don't know if the Joker and the Riddler end up getting taken again. Then the Court of Owls comes later on and reveal that this mm -hmm. was the plan and things are messed up again. 
And that's mm-hmm. when Batman has to come back again and say, oh, yeah. this is bad. So I don't know if they're going that path because when they say friends, it's like, are they starting like that? Are they going to then crush? Because they crush and then Riddler says, hmm, I am a psychopath, but my man here does. Like, like what, what H just said, Riddler was doing it, being smart, saying, there's a reason why I'm doing this. Why a Joker, he kills. There's no reason. He just said, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. He's so mad. He's so smart. Yeah. Ultimately, it's going to be interesting to see like the, the control for Gotham because, like yeah. I said, clearly, like, like this, like, like it's like, like this movie didn't have a happy ending. Yeah. Like, like the whole, yeah, okay, yeah, he he saved the day and 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 Riddler's in drink, but like at the end of the day, like the that that's that's maybe that's some reason why I like Miko and Tsugumas, why I like the movie where like it ended. Where Batman in quote saved the day, but actually, when you actually think about it, this is terrible because is. every single like because no one basically trusts the police or the courts. That's still there. Yeah, I know that the uh, the, the election lady, you know, she um she's saying that oh, hope and change will fight, blah blah blah. But but no one really trusts I mean, yeah. her. Yeah. You know, she's you know, and, she, and you know, she's black, and they're like, oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Obama, you know, like change, uh, <laughs> you know. So it's a bit, a bit sketchy, you know. So there's no trust from the citizens, like at all. And on top of that, you now got like you've now taken off the the big guy, uh, as in Falcone, and, uh, and you've got people buying the territory. So I suspect that you know Penguin, for example, I think is probably going to be more prevalent because he's now going to say, "Listen, I can flex my wings, no pun intended, yeah. do my thing." Um, no, and 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 I believe that. Because you know, whenever you have a part, so things get crazy and worse. Yeah, I yeah. think so, Penguin is going to be worse, a worse, yeah. more worse than I think. Yeah, he, he, he is worse. He is worse. Penguin, yeah. is gonna, Penguin is a worse version of of, yeah. of, of, of this dude. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Penguin's going to go. And, and I say, I hope that we see, you know, I hope that we see, um, like I said, some, you know, um, we see, you know, maybe Joker's like a riddler sort of influence in that aspect, not necessarily a full bummer aspect. And then we see. Some other characters. I mean, you could. I mean, looking at the Batman mythos, obviously uh, Two Face, um, at some point to be led led to. Um, like, I would, I would actually like to see a a a um a more grounded um, Scarecrow. I think, oh, yeah. I think that yeah. that could work in this type of movie. So just the. Oh, the... I, 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 wait, have have you have you read Hush? Oh, Batman Hush. I've not yeah. read, read it, but they did a, an animated. Um, oh, yeah. uh, oh no, no, really good about... comic. Like mm. I think yeah, Jim Lee does ask very good mm. comic. Like, see, that would be another interesting roast to give if they went harsh. Mm. That's that's that's, that's mm. a really good story. What about mm. because we we literally talked about villains and stuff like that? Mm. What about on the other side, on the heroes? Are people wanting to see Robin, no. Batgirl, any nah, other? Nah, nah. Oh. The, the the only one, the only the only individual I'd like to see in here is uh, obviously, but we wouldn't see him without becoming Robin. Is Dick Grayson as uh, at the older one, the older version. What 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 would Nightwing? Uh, Nightwing. Na- Nightwing. I'd, I'd like to see Nightwing, but I don't want to see him any, anywhere near this. No, but, wait, but, but you know what? Yeah, they could yeah. do hmm. You know that's you know that's kid, the male son. Yes. What he looked at, you could probably, yeah. you know. Yeah, but what, what what sort of Robin would you put in this world? This is a dirty, sick world. You you really want. I can't. No, it's it's for me. I think like, but Robin only comes when Batman is truly seasoned. When he's yeah, been doing yeah. it for like six, seven, eight years. This is year two. Yeah. yeah. So I think that I don't know how Robin fits in. So because by the end of this trilogy is, oh, I'm just now figuring out exactly what I should do and so forth. Yeah. So yeah. Robin only comes when Batman is fully established into what he's doing. Right now, he has he's got no clue. And can't balance both like so he, basically there, there's mm-hmm. no place in his life for at least another three, four years for a, a Robin. So it's like when yeah, he really feels feel like he's like a father type of yeah. sort of, could be a father yeah. type of sort of thing, you know. At this point, I'm like, this dude is this dude can't be a dad. No, no way, no <laughs> he, way. He's not in the right mental space to be no, no. looking after any children whatsoever, bro. You know, so um I mean I said, I mean it's, I, I guess maybe. I obviously you want you probably want to see more of um him and Jim Gordon like working together and I want right. to see more of that um that that, that being developed. Um is it, I'm just trying, is there any on the bat that bat family that could that could because I just my, my only thing is that like if you don't you don't want it to a point where like there's so much bad, so much evil that like it's almost completely especially if Catwoman is not gonna be in it. 
Mm. They're like almost completely in balance out. Like it is just so. No, 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 but, no but hence why I said like, no. if I was doing it, keep it with Gordon and Bat Batman. Basically, mm -hmm. like I don't know whether you guys have watched um, this TV show, True Detective. I've watched like, it. I've seen a few. Seen a few. Yeah, like in every season, it's True de 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 Detective. So for me, the the aesthetic of this should be. Batman and Gordon are two de detectives. There are things Gordon can do that Batman can't do. Things that Batman yeah, can yeah, do true. that Gordon can't do. Yeah, true, true. So they use both of their strengths in order to take down whatever threats, yeah, true, come, true. which I think is a great angle for. So it's, it's, it's um, almost it's, it's almost like a sort of like a a dark body cop type. Yeah, of, you know, no, sort of rush out thing, yeah. You know, sort of, uh, they should go down that kind of route. Then just yeah, sort of yeah. Play. no, that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. That's fair. Any any final thoughts, guys, about this before we were free round? No, 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 no. My thing is, again, I'm just interested because I think obviously by the time we get to like the end of next week, most people would have seen it. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. wanted to see what people think because what I'm seeing right now online is there are people who are finding it's very hard to let go of of Dark Knight, and I do think that it's a bit of nostalgia because mm -hmm. some people let's say they were like 13 or 14 when they saw it, so like man, I was young and you know this was a meaning a lot to me, and I think they were so hyped. <laughs> There was so much mm. hype surrounding it. Mm. Um, people will find it hard to let it let, let it go, but I think people have to accept that. Now, you may prefer it as far as a preference, but there is no debate that this is as a film and as a narrative a more coherent film than the, the Dark Knight. Let's, let's be real: the Dark Knight was was a Joker movie. Yeah, it was. Joker was the and, and the next and the next was Ben's movie. Yeah, Ben was. Yeah, yeah exactly. So so it wasn't like it was like when says a Batman movie, it's like it was a good, it was good, you know. So because Heath Ledger was a brilliant Joker, yeah, that's why it was good. Whereas now we're talk, we're not talking about, we are talking about the villains, obviously, but yeah, we're not saying the Batman was good because the Riddler. We you've had criticisms about the Riddler. We're talking about mm. no, this was good because of how Robert Pattinson portrayed this type of Batman. No, oh, okay, then let me ask you this to you guys. Then, as far as like a Batman from a Batman being Batman. This or Batman Be Begins? I'm picking this one. This one, yeah. Do you know why, H -H 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 -H, do you know that series for uh, the, the series for Christian Bell? I feel bad for Christian Bell. Maybe I think he also felt it. If I was to ask you right now, or if you have asked any fan, that what do you remember about Dark Knight Rises or the, the next one or the other one? Do you know what they say? Or Tom Hardy or Heath Ledger? It's always the bad guys they remember. Do you right now off the top? Do you remember what Batman did in Dark Knight Rises? Any scene? It's not in your head. All you remember is Joker did this. What's your scene? It's always Joker, Joker in your head, or Ben. Ben did this, or Ben said this. Even if you look at the memes, Ben said this. The only thing we make fun of is the voice. That's all. Yeah. Like we yeah. just, I, I feel bad for him. It's as if well, no, no, it's I, 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 it's Joker Fiji and Batman, Ben Fiji and uh, Batman again. Because yeah, I'm a huge fan of Batman Begins. I love Batman Begins, but that, that one is a good one. No, but this, this is the, the, the saddest thing. Do you know that sequence when Batman swoops in and takes out Rilla's henchmen? Batman did more in that section than in all of Nolan's films. <laughs> Just that one section there of Batman taking this guy and how yeah. frantic it was and how that like, bro, this guy's getting knocked off. He has to do his grappling hook. He goes over, a guy yeah. points a gun straight to his head and he's yeah. just hanging on. I There was... Batman did more in just that small section mm. than in all of Nolan's films, in all of Nolan's three films, which is... Uh, do, you to, do you want to also hear something bad? Uh, do you remember that um, warehouse scene in the Batman v Superman? The yeah, warehouse yeah, yeah, scene, yeah, yeah, yeah. where he comes up from his face. Yeah. That, <laughs> that part of Batman, you did more. Exactly, 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 exactly. It's, yeah. it's sad to know that. But trust me, if you ask anybody who's a fanatic of those movies, all they tell you about is Tom Hardy and his legend. Oh, Ben said this. Oh, do you remember when Ben did this? Remember when you never hear, oh, do you remember when Batman did this? It's always the bad guy. And, and, and I think that's the key because, see, the most Batman of nuances was, was Begins. But yes. I can't tell you. Begins was good, yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you an iconic Batman moment where I was like, oh, wow, Batman really. Mm -hmm. There isn't one. <laughs> mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in this film, bro, that scene on the crane. I was like, bro, this guy really pulled through, and he and he didn't pull through like a superhero. He pulled through like a guy dressed as a bat, trying to figure out how to now 
take down five, six guys armed with guns. <laughs> you know, so no, absolutely, absolutely, guys. Like, guys, um, let, us, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What are your thoughts on the Batman mm. movie? Let us know below. Let us know below. Like. Is it better than Dark Knight? Maybe some of you guys <laughs> might, <laughs> might flame this channel. Who knows? You know, so call us fanatics. I've got no idea, you know. So, but I really enjoyed this, um, guys, because um, I, I love this movie, um, and I definitely want to see hear what your thoughts are about this, guys. Um, HH Pat, thank you so much um, for Yo. doing this. Like, it's been really good. We're obviously doing, hopefully, doing more more of this in the future. Um, and um, by all means, let us know if there's any films. Bad movies, maybe Catwoman. I don't know that you want us to cover in the future. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we just okay? Are we going to review the whole movie just based on the outfit? Just the outfit. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say, I'll do that. Yeah, oh, yeah. for the outfit. Yeah, I'll do that. Like, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll, the, I'll, I'll do like an outfit yeah. review. An outfit review. I'll I'll cast the fact that they literally made her a cat, which I don't really understand. <laughs> so, that's a bit, but we'll, we'll keep it at that. Right. Have a nice day, everyone. You know, and cheers. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Peace.